There are a lot of awesome skills that you can mix and match in this game, but I wasted 100,000 gold to see which one of these are the best of the best skills for me at max level, and it might also help you decide your final build. Well, hopefully. So without further yada yada, let's dive right to it. Top 8. This is the only damage overtime skill that is actually worth it. At level 10, Insect Swarm deals hella insane damage and the insects jump from one enemy to another whenever the main target dies. The only thing that I didn't like about this skill is that the flies are... Um, they're kinda dumb. Sometimes they don't see the mobs if you cast the skill at the wrong direction even if they're just pretty much beside them, which, you know, kinda just wastes your energy. That's mainly the reason why it is only top 8 even though it can deal this much damage. I do think that this is still very good for solo boss fights as you can just focus on dodging and let the flies do all of the work. Top 7. A good skill for one-handed melee users is Spirit Slash. At level 10, it deals good single target damage that bounces to nearby enemies. It's also pretty easy to fully charge this skill even while moving, giving you good mobility to dodge attacks while it charges. Do take note that my items and talents shown on these clips are magic DPS with zero physical items and talents except for the weapon, and yet the skill is already dealing this much damage. Top 6 One of my PDPS friends' favorite skill is Shadow Clone, and I must admit that I probably would get this too if only my build wasn't too skill dependent. At max level, Shadow Clone summons two clones that copies your basic attack, so it's good to have this if you're going for an attack speed crit build or just likes to use basic attack rather than skills. If you are like me though, who does not use basic attack anymore, then please don't get this skill. Trust me, it does not work at all. Top 5 Now every physical DPS would really want this skill at level 10. Static Touch is actually a buff that grants hella insane attack increase, which also considers your base magic attack stat. So if you're using a two-handed weapon, as those usually give both physical and magic attack, then this one is mega perfect for your build, but it's also pretty good with one-handed builds too. You just wouldn't want this if you're a pure magic build though. Top 4 Whether you're physical DPS or magic DPS, summons are always a good helping hand. And one of the handy summons to consider is this cloud. It attacks nearby enemies on its own, and it has no HP bar, which means that it could never be targeted and attacked by mobs. And that's actually great because it'll always be there to attack for you until you unsummon it. The cons of this skill though is that it blocks your EP just like every other summon, and it also kinda attacks slow and with a bit of a lower damage compared to other summons. Top 3 Speaking of summons, the best summon for me is still this buff Lil Frosty Dew. Just like the Cloud Strike, it attacks any nearby enemy on its own and blocks your EP, but the difference is that it has HP and deals better damage. But don't worry, because this little dude doesn't die. When their HP reaches zero, this dude gets knocked out and will recover in a few seconds, then they will continue to murder for you. Super cute! Top 2 This is my favorite offensive skill ever as a magic DPS, because at level 10, the lightning jumps up to 10 mobs, making it the perfect AoE skill. It's very handy for farming cards, doing arena, and pretty much everything, you know? though the insect swarm probably beats it damage-wise for boss fights. But match this with both of the summons and a couple of crit talents, and then you're unstoppable. Number 1. And for the top 1 is Barrier and Focus. Whatever offensive skill set you choose, the must-have skills in this game are Barrier and Focus, two utility skills that are extremely broken. You'd want to max out these two, as Barrier blocks out a lot of damage at level 3, giving you more than enough time to charge and drink potion as your skills and actions are never interrupted when you're inside a bubble. And since all skills pretty much drain your energy, then Focus has got you as it rapidly increases your EP regen, which fills up your EP in just a few seconds. So that pretty much means unlimited skills. And this is why I told you that I never use basic attacks anymore. So it doesn't matter if your energy is blocked from too much summons, as you can always use focus in between skills for only EP. But that's about it, folks. Did your favorite skills in games made it to my list? Yes? No? Let us know in the comments. Oh, and also do let me know if you have any guide requests because I am crazy obsessed with this game. Don't worry, that's normal. It's a pretty good game. But anyways, Super thanks to my lovely channel members for your kind support as always. Love you lots. 
And for you, don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Secrets of Grindia videos coming your way. Bye-bye!